Bruce every time a new Iron Maiden album is released. I'm always so happy to see how loyal the Iron Maiden fans all around the world is. It's really something that they care about. Even after all these years, your fan base just seems to grow and grow. And here in Copenhagen, we have a small record store called Mephisto. And there's a guy who owns it, Ole. He's a huge Maiden fan from he was a child. And I think this Friday, when Senjutsu is out, he's doing a whole Maiden thing. And I, I even think he renamed his record store <laughs> Et Fisto for this release, you know. And when you played Copenhagen, Copenhagen here in Copenhagen, he had his son coming to your concert. Because he's also now an Iron Maiden fan. And that just makes me so happy, you know. They're willing to go that extra mile to give your music to the next generations and Ole also has secured like the limited edition red and black version of the Senjutsu to sell in his Mephisto store. When you look on your fans, um, I'm curious to know what is your take on how you keep such a loyal fan base because many great bands in the world they tend to lose some fans some new come along but iron maiden just have well in lack of a better word sort of a cult following of these believers that just believe you so much why do you think that is um well <clears throat> I, um i can't speak for you know every individual <clears throat> every individual iron maiden fan obviously um so and i can't Im i can't imagine what I each of them is individually thinking and what what kind of nuance they get out of out of what we do because i think people get different things out of you know out of different different parts of what we do you know um so some fans will really zone in on on some bits you know some of the um some of the kind of rhythmic things that we do but some people would be big fans of that some people would be big fans of like adrian's guitar some people you know uh you know will be nuts about you know vocals and therefore they'll they'll follow some my like, solo stuff and all, all the rest of it. so you've got all kinds of shades of opinion but they all congregate around the central core which is yeah it's iron maiden stupid you know it's that's that's that you know it, 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 that's it um and we retain the identity because we um are i suppose um yeah commercially independent uh we don't ever uh change what we do in response to external pressure everything we do is developed internally and therefore even if we screw up at least we screwed up for the right reasons <laughs> oh, i you love know. that bruce that is so yeah. well so yeah. unspoken from the heart man <laughs> yeah but 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 it's important because people then because what that means is people trust you yeah because because it's like oh yeah you know so some albums are better than others you know um yeah fine there's, there's no I, uh, we'll let other, i'm gonna let other people comment on that because you know i've got my opinions other people have other opinions you know um but the the and, and we know that we're not stupid you know but nevertheless we don't go in there trying to make a a, 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 a rubbish album we make the best album we can do that's in front of our face on the day on the week in the month of that period of our lives um, and that's like a document for us and it's where we were at when we did that and right then and i think the <clears throat> for a lot of maiden fans albums work like that for them too so the album becomes like a document for their life as well yeah definitely, uh, at, definitely. At, at, at the same time and in order for that to work you've got to have uh you've got to believe you don't necessarily have to agree with what the band is doing at the time you know uh and frequently i you know obviously some people do some people don't um but you've got to believe that the band is sincere in doing it for the right reasons uh and and therefore you still keep that loyalty and to put it su superficially 
I would say that you know Iron Maiden fans are a little bit like plywood. You know, we get a we get a new layer every year, and they all just stick together. So eventually, we've got a table that's like ten feet thick, and people are going, "How did you end up with a table ten feet thick?" I said, "Well, we just never, we we never lost a layer." You know, what I mean, yeah. So, and of course, we've got people that started in you know nineteen eighty three, eighty four, and we've got people that started in the year two thousand, two thousand and five, two thousand fifteen. You know, generations and generations, people whose first album was Book of Souls. Mm. And then they went, ah, oh, I like this band, Book of Souls. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, they did another bunch of albums. What's this thing? The Number of the Beast. I never heard about that. Oh, this is cool. And you, you go back and you, you, you've you got the chance to rediscover all the discography. So um, I think this album will uh, deliver us uh, a very a very new thick layer of plywood uh, uh and and of course you know where we exist yeah sure we exist on 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 albums and things but where we really exist is on stage